you know, their pet. That's right. Giving. Give giving back is what we have to say, right? right? Yeah. Return the turkey. I know. Poor, poor giving. Uh, okay, poor, poor us as far as the rain, but it's, it, it's getting better on the horizon. It is getting better on the horizon, but we have a wet weekend ahead. In fact, we've already started to see the showers developing uh, in the area this afternoon, and they will become more numerous. Taking a look, live look outside, we're seeing some of those nice billowing cumulus clouds out there, indicating that we're getting some lift in the atmosphere. 53 degrees right now with a west wind at 10 miles per hour. And as we look at the live uh, radar, you can see showers becoming more numerous as the day goes on. As we get some instability and some cold air aloft, we could get uh, a few rumbles of thunder, and if you're under some of these downpours out there, might get some small hail. So let's uh, go ahead and zoom in on a couple places where we're seeing some heavier down, uh, downpours down towards McMinnville. Uh, nothing major right now up towards Hillsboro, but again, we will be seeing those showers becoming more numerous as the day goes on. So if you are going out for your lunch break, meeting some friends, maybe headed home from work early, Prepare for a, a pretty wet day, at least for the next several hours. Most of uh, the western parts of the state at least getting some showers right now. Eastern areas start to get a little bit more numerous too up towards Pendleton. Even Baker City could get a little wet today with those showers moving in. So here's the reason why we're seeing this. We have this nice upper level trough right here. You can see it pretty clearly on the uh, water vapor imagery. So we're looking at the mid levels of the atmosphere here with this upper level low sitting about right there. That's going to be pushing towards us throughout the daytime period. And that's what's really going to keep us unsettled and quite cool as well. Right now, 49 degrees in Tiger with some showers around Vancouver around 53 in Gresham at 54. Out towards the coast, 52 in Tillamook right now, 52 and Astoria, 53 for PDX and Hood River right around 54 degrees. So as we look at the uh, rain and snow forecast for today, snow levels right around 4,000 feet, uh, between 3,500 and 4,000 feet. So maybe one to two inches of snow uh, through tonight in that area. We'll keep those scattered showers around today. As you go to the Blazers game tonight, if you are going, I should say, I think by the time you get out, we might be seeing more of a, a mostly cloudy sky. I think things start to dry out by then. But Here's midnight. Notice how we really start to see the coverage of the showers really go down as the evening goes on. Tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up maybe a sprinkle or so out towards the coast. But as a frontal boundary approaches, that's when we're going to start to see the showers becoming more numerous, especially late in the afternoon into the evening hours and especially overnight. So here's nine o'clock looking pretty wet. Additional maybe two to four inches of snow in the Cascades as the snow levels are still pretty low. And we're going to continue to stay wet through Sunday. Here's a live uh, or a look at 2 p.m. on Sunday. So if you have plans out doors over the weekend. It does look like it's going to be pretty wet, but stick around here just for about a minute or so because when I get to my seven day forecast, you're going to really like the extended forecast if you like sunshine. So today wet at time, some sunshine out towards the coast, uh, 55 for Newport, 58 for you in Salem. East of the mountains today will stay unsettled with uh, those showers around. Tonight, though, is going to be pretty chilly, actually. Mandarus around 30 degrees and Ben right around 30 for your overnight low with a high near 47. Through the gorge today, we'll mix, have a mix of sun and showers with those west winds, and there's your uh, temperature for government camp. Right around 38 degrees with the snow levels pretty low. Again, maybe one to two additional snow accumulations. We'll be end up around 58 degrees, mainly about 56 to 58. And again, if you see some of these downpours in your area, that might hinder your temperatures just a little bit, so you might stay a little bit cooler. But tonight, though, I think we'll get a little bit of some uh, breaks in the clouds, and that's going to allow our temperatures to dip down between about 38 and 40 degrees. So still another chilly night for us. For Scappoose, 57 degrees, a slight chance of maybe a rumble, thunder, Salmon Creek, just about the same. So if you're headed to the coast this week, Weekend. Maybe an isolated shower early tomorrow, but better chances really come in the evening hours. Sunday is going to be breezy and wet, as well as the gorge going to be rainy both days. And then getting also into the Cascades, you have the chance for that snow coming, especially coming in on Sunday with accumulations likely. So here's that extended forecast. Wet and cool through the weekend. And then, as I promised, if you love the sunshine and warmth, it really comes back. Check out Wednesday. Wow. 81 degrees. I love it. Yes. Some people think that's too hot around here, actually. I'm excited start about it. I like both. Complaints. I like rain and sun, but I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Thanks. We'll be right back.